Hello my viewers, I want to welcome you to this exciting lesson in Revit. In this lesson, I just want to show you the details. These are called detail components which are available in Revit for you to use. Now, I thought of showing you this trick because most people do not know that these detail components exist in Revit. And if you've seen well detailed designs in Revit, it's because of the availability of all these components, which as I've said, you know, most people do not know that these you know, detail components are there and they end up using just lines, which is not a good way, you know, for you to approach, you know, the way you do things in Revit. So these components are there. I'll go in detail one by one as we are going to see later on in this lesson and how to load these within your project. Now, if you like what I'm doing on this channel, please don't just watch my videos because I want to be showing you tips and tricks each and every week so that you can master Revit, you know, and start using it on your project. So like my videos, subscribe to my channel and share with your colleagues. And for anyone who'd like to learn Revit in a course, I have Revit architecture, Revit structure and robot structure analysis. Make sure that you check the links in the description. There are some good courses where I've taught, you know, all this software step by steps without missing anything. And I make sure that I include some projects so that you can, you know, learn the software the way it's supposed to be done on a real project. So without wasting time, let's get started this lesson. So what I'm going to do, I'll show you how you can apply some of these detail components. Now, this is a project, as you can see, that is the name. So you see that if I go to annotate, then go to component, I have the detail component and the repeating detail. Now, this is what I have. For example, if I go to component and I go to uh, repeating details, I open there, you see that I have a number of them. Now, if you haven't loaded this, just try to open your default template and open. You are not going to see all these things. So this is what I want to show you so that you know how to load these and use them within your project. So what I'll do, I'll maintain this one or yeah, I'll maintain it and just open a new project by just clicking on home there, click on new, then just go down there, then just open architectural template, click on okay. So I have the new project and most of the times you are just going to start a project, especially for those who do not have a template or those who have a template, but they haven't, you know, loaded all these things because they will not be loaded by default. You have to load them yourselves. Then you can use them over and over. So you see that if I go to annotate and go to component, okay, what have I done? I'll just escape on my keyboard go to component, let me even try repeating detail there, click there. You see that we only have one. Have you seen that? Okay, so now I want to show you on how you can load all those, like what we have here. Again, if I go there, let me even use a detail component. I click there, you see that we have a number of them. And these are, I can assure you, if you are not using this, then you don't know how to use Revit. You need to be using this, especially when it comes to detailing. That way, no one will even challenge you. Those people who say that in Revit, you can't produce good details. It's because they don't know all these tips and tricks. So what I'll do again, I'll close this one. I'll just click on no. I just have this project which does not have all those detail components and I want to load them within here. So what you need to do is again system families, they are called system families. You can't insert them the way we insert the doors, the windows and other components. You have to load it within here by using the transfer project standard too. So what I'm going to do is to go to, let me click on open there. Now we are under the system families. What I'm going to do, I'll go back because I want to show you where these things are found. Make sure that you go where the Revit installation is. So I'll go back once again. And my installation of Revit is within here. So I'll go to program data. Make sure that you go to program data. Just click there. After that, you go to Autodesk. Okay. Then after that, find where we have RVT and the version. For me, I'm using RVT 2023. This is where we have all those families. Just click there. Then from here, go to the libraries, of course. It's found under the libraries. Then choose the language. I'm using English. You can pick any language. Depends on what you are doing and where you are. Just double click there. Then again, the region where you are, I installed the UK library. It's up to you. Whatever you have installed, you can use it. If it's Chinese, you know, South African, whatever. You can, but that's what I'm using. Then you need to go to system families right here. 
double click and from here you are going to open this one called repeating details this is where i also find those just uh, those which are not repeating but just details which you can use one by one so as you can see the file is there now click on open to open this as a separate project this is what we have as you can see now just to look at what we have of course maybe let me look at that one later we now want to go back to the other project as i've said there's nothing here if i go to annotate if i just check under component there you can see that there's almost nothing there's only brick so you see that most of you are going to have this now you need to import all these within your project and how are you going to do that you need to do these steps that i want to show you you just need to go to manage then go to transfer project standards just click there you know check none and then you have to find those uh called what let me just uh, i think i should have forgotten the name it's called repeating details so as you can see i have it right here called repeating detail types so i just need to pick it here then from here make sure that you are copying from that project which you opened with those so that is the one make sure that you select it or again i've i've just uncheck everything let me go to r and find the repeating details i think it's right here repeating detail types as you can see we have it right there then you select it and click on ok so once you do that i'll just click on new because i just want to bring in new things within my project so now you notice that if i go to annotate go to component go to repeating detail and open there you see that all those are loaded and you can use them in whatever way you want if i go back to annotate click there go to detail again go back there you see that i have a number of details which i can use now why do you have to use this of course if maybe you want to show maybe a beam you have an option of using a line for example you can start you know doing that you know it's time consuming and you know this is not how you want to approach you know the way you work in revit it's better use these detail components because this can be sized quickly there are those dimensions you can resize them and it's easy for you to you know to you know to adjust or revise you know sometimes in revit why you have to use detail components detail components are in between you know the normal autocad way of work in terms of just using line to a 3d model you want to be in between because again you are not going to model everything in revit i can assure you at some point especially when it comes to detailing you are going to use these detail components but don't use the lines you know fall back on the these detail components and repeating details it will help you a lot okay you have to leverage the power of revit so now i'm here okay so as you can see we have a number of them as you can see now let me just review some of them here you can see we have the towels here how how cool is this as you can see you don't have to be drawing all these lines on your detail you can see you just have to use these you can see we have this one it will even show the timber there roofing towels led to left uh, roofing towels led to right i'll show you what this means you can see all that if i just come here again we have these these are the towels all these details you can use them you don't have to waste time you know start drawing those on your detail you just have to use them we have the concrete there and all these details as you can see if i come here you see that we have the block work in section it's just a matter of using this i'll demonstrate in a moment you can come to this you can see we have again all those the block work you see we have the metal stud work instead of using lines to start offsetting these or creating them somewhere these things are already there you just have to use them let me just come down here you see that we have the timber there all right let me go down here we have the concrete you know the cobblestones all these are the things that you can start using without wasting time and you can even download much much more from the internet you see that you have the you know standing seam liner brackets all those standing seam complete roof section all these things are there all right so let me just go up here we have the roofing all these profiles as you can see you can use them without a problem then we have the railings the palings and all these so i'll just close this one and i'll not save it i'll go back here now if you want to use any of these for example on a detail now make sure that if you want me now to practically show you how you can 
you know apply some of these maybe on a section on an elevation or any detail please comment there i'll do a video specifically on that but i want to show you on how you can use them even from here i'm sure you can even follow but if you want a, you know another lesson on this one just comment there so if i want to use a repeating detail i can go there for example i want to use maybe let me go to uh what do i want maybe metal start work 90 millimeters horizontal i can select there you can see that you know it would be easy for you for example you want to show the palings maybe there on top of the roof it's just a matter of doing that now once i click there right click cancel right click cancel i can select on this now the spacing you can control the spacing by just going to the properties if i just click there you can see that the layout true you can even specify it from here if you want to have fixed distance fixed number maximum spacing you can do that again if you want a detailed tutorial on this please comment the spacing you can specify it there the rotation all these things are there so i'll just cancel that one let me go to the next one again component repeating detail so i'll just show you a few of them because there are quite a number of them it's up to you you know to 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 play around with them let me maybe try the pavers again the layout true is still the same there if you want to lay it out and depending on where you want to place it you can go to the properties and do that all right let me go to another one component repeating detail go back there and just pick something different let me say maybe block work and i want it to be vertical maybe the first point as you can see it does that you can just click up to the end there again everything is there including the hatches so i can select on it go to edit type there you can see the rules are there the spacing the rotation you know the layout true if i want to change even from here i can do that but again i'll leave it the way it is click on cancel so these repeating details can be used and you can apply them on your you know on your details and that's the best way of working in revit now another one is the detail component i can click there for example just want that you know that beam or a column you can just an eye section you can just click there and use it like that so just cancel there i can select on it you can even see that it's named if i want i can even change the size from here you can see that you don't have to be using the lines all these things are there this is not a 3d model so where you don't need to you know to model these things you just want to show it on a detail please make sure that you use the, these details no one will tell you about this but i want to make sure that you understand all the details and that will differentiate you you know from others the way they are going to use you know revit and your details will look will look very very professional so i can go back there detail component go back there and let me pick something else from here if i want to pick maybe okay clatter vertical i can do that but this one again is just one of you know it's just a detail component but if you want to use a repeating detail so that it shows with the timber and everything you can pick the other one so thank you very much for watching make sure that you make use of the you know these you know repeating details and detail components to make sure that you produce well detailed design so see you in some upcoming tutorials